Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about cat care tips. But before we begin, I just want to say that I'm not a vet, and I'm also not a scientist. So everything that I'm sharing with you today is based solely on my own experiences. If your cats have any underlying health issues, please go consult a vet instead, and watch this video for entertainment purposes only. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Tip number one I have for you is that unless your cat is a hundred percent indoor cat, um, then you don't have to do this. But if your cat does go out from time to time, and especially for even hours at once, then I think it is highly recommended to get her a collar with their name and your phone number on it. I cannot tell you how grateful I am because my cat got saved. I think two or even three times when she was lost in the street and I got people calling me to pick her up. It is really a lifesaver. If you don't like it, you can also get a GPS tracker, but I want you to be careful with the collar because sometimes it can get stuck when they hang around in the wild, so that can also be dangerous. Tip number two is to groom your cat often because a lot of the hair that falls out of their body is going directly into their stomach they ingest a lot of hair so it is best to you know eliminate a lot of the hair for them before they groom themselves and you know build a lot of hairballs in their stomach you can also grow cat grass for them to chew on from time to time that also helps them to vomit the hairballs out and kind of get some fibers to digest the hairballs in their body you don't need to buy any fancy or expensive um, cat grass seeds. You can just buy normal weed seeds. It's super cheap in the supermarket. And yeah. For tip number three, I'm gonna talk about their food and their nutrition overall. Uh, this is gonna be the longest tip because I know there are a whole lot of information about um, you know why you should feed your cats and even your dogs. Uh, the whole information about pets in general is just very broad and uh, people have been saying how good raw food diet diet is and i think it's pretty good if your cat can handle it i guess uh, my cat cannot eat raw food because she does not have the habit of eating a lot all at once and is kind of like a little bit risky to put the raw food out on the floor more than 30 minutes at a time. My cat is the kind of cat who will, you know, eat their food throughout the night instead of eating all at once. And that's one of the habit that keeps me from feeding her raw food. I feed my cat um, dry fruit. I just leave a lot of dry food throughout the day. And then once or twice a day, I'm going to feed her wet food. I used to make homemade cat pate for her but i don't have a lot of time now so i just feed her the but it's also fresh pate but i bought from a local store here if you can find any you know local um business that sells homemade cat food i really i really highly recommend you to buy it because it has a lot more nutrition and it doesn't have any salt compared to packaged wet food if your cat does not drink water on themselves very often then it is best to mix some more water into their wet food you know to kind of trick them to hydrate themselves a little bit more without having to drink any water tip number four i just want to say that you should check up on her very often especially if you change to a new diet you want to pay attention to your cat's behaviors and their bowel movements, their bathroom habits. Uh, are they having regular bowel movements? Uh, are they peeing regularly? It is best to pay attention to the little things like that to prevent any you know, health issues to rise. And then you're gonna have to spend a lot of money for the vet. And it's gonna be the whole lot of stress full situation to deal with. Tip number five I have for you is get them something big for them to drink water. My cat loves drink waters from some kind of a bowl, like a big bowl 
or even a bucket. Uh, she does not like to drink from the tiny little bowl. And she does also not like the water fountains that I know has been a really hype for cats owners. But I think that she's really scared of the sound. So yeah, she just doesn't like it. Also, this way is cheaper. So why don't you give it a shot? Alrighty, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I want to keep it short because I'm not sure if you guys like this type of video. If you do like or if you do have any recommendations for me to uh, make another video like this, please leave a comment below. I would love to read your comments. So until next time, bye and thank you so much for watching.